In this video, I'm gonna be detailing this Clio using the help of some products that have been sent to test out and get my honest opinions on. So the first thing that I started on with this car was the pre-wash on the wheels using Squid Ink Citrus at one to five. I'm gonna be using this product on the paintwork as well and it is one of my go-to pre-washes. To actually contact clean the wheels, I went for Yum Undress on the tyres and then Detail Bug Mantis Wheel Cleaner at a 1 to 4 dilution on the alloys. I've used both these products a number of times now and I've found them to be very effective. Mantis works really well diluted and still has a lot of cleaning ability and Yum Undress typically works on most tyres in a single hit. Once I'd done with the wheels, I then moved on to pre-washing the paintwork, again using that squid ink citrus mixture, and I applied this to all the lower sections of the car. After the citrus had been allowed to dwell for a few minutes on its own, I went in with a mixture of the Valet Pro pH neutral snow foam and I used 150ml of this in the foam cannon to 850ml of water. This snow foam isn't particularly powerful on its own so I like to either use it in summer on a car that's more dusty rather than dirty or as I'm using here to extend the dwell time of the citrus underneath it. For the contact wash on this car, I went with the Soft 99 Creamy Neutral Shampoo. Now, first off with the negative of this product, it does require a lot in the bucket, so I used 100ml here, so it's definitely not the most economical shampoo. However, what I do like about it is that it's really good for using in summer. It has a very, very mildly acidic pH, so it's actually neutral in the bucket, but it does help to soften the water a bit and prevent water spots. And it also doesn't leave streaks if it accidentally dries on the panel if you're washing the car on a warmer day.
I then dried off the car and moved on to the chemical decon stage using Soft 99's Iron Terminator to start with. There wasn't a ton of iron contamination on this car so nothing too exciting to show you here. I also had to do this car in sections with this product as I was waiting for a bit of cover from the clouds on some of the panels as this is a chemical you certainly do not want drying onto the paintwork. I then dried off the lower sections and hit the tar spots with the Garage Therapy tar remover. The tar spots are actually quite minimal on this car so there were just a few localised behind the wheels but this is probably my go-to tar remover now as it is just really effective and tackles pretty much everything in a single hit. To remove any remaining bonded contaminants, I went in with the Rag Company Ultra Clay Mitt and PNS Rinseless at a 1 to 64 ratio as the clay lubricant. I quite like using a clay mitt on a car that's not really heavily contaminated as it does really speed up the process, so I was actually able to clay the car in just 20 minutes. This rinseless wash does work really well as a clay lubricant and helps prevent marring as much as possible from this stage. I did rinse the car panel by panel after cleaning each section, however at the end of the process I did snow foam the entire car and give that a rinse in order to remove any contaminants that might have been lifted but not collected by the clay mitt or any residues from the previous chemicals that I used. To protect the wheels on this car I went in with Soft 99's wheel dust blocker. So it's recommended to prepare the wheels first using the wipes that are provided and then the application process of the product itself is super easy because you just spray it on and don't have to wipe it at all. From my experience this lasts around four to six weeks of regular driving however I've found that it's not particularly chemically resistant so if you're going to be hitting it with heavier pre-washes or wheel cleaners during that time then it's probably not going to make it through that wash and will need reapplying. So I found that maintaining it using a pH neutral shampoo is probably the best option here. I also plan to apply a glass coat into this car so I wanted to polish it first using Car Pro Seri Glass. This is a really effective product at removing any chemical or water stains which would otherwise prevent the protection from bonding to the glass properly. The only disadvantage of this product is it's not that easy to remove so it's definitely worth either rinsing the windscreen or use a damp microfiber cloth like I'm doing here to remove the residue. To prepare the paintwork for the coating and to refine it, I polished it using a white chemical guys pad and the last detail finishing polish. I really like this combination for just adding that bit of gloss and not cutting away too much paint. I previously used Shoal S40 as my kind of go-to finishing polish but I have actually switched to this one now. Having used it a few times I found that the wipe off's just a little bit easier and there's just no dust in whatsoever so it is a really nice polish to work with. As I was going to be applying a Diamond Protect coat into this car, I went in with their body prep spray in order to cleanse the surface of any oils and residues that would otherwise prevent the coating from bonding properly. This is an essential step before applying any coating, so I did actually go around the car a couple of times to make sure the surface just was as clean as possible. So 
So the actual coating that I'm applying is Diamond Body 36. So this is the three year coating in their range. The application process was really straightforward and it was probably easier than a lot of sequence that I've tried. I apply the coating to a microfiber applicator and it's recommended to wait for a maximum of 15 minutes before wiping. You can see when the coating's ready to wipe because it will haze and at that point it's ready to wipe off. Now in order to get the best performance possible it is recommended to apply two layers an hour apart so that is what I did on this car and I used fresh towels and applicators to do this. Of course I am applying this coating outside which isn't the ideal circumstance so there are some extra considerations that I needed to make to ensure that the process went smoothly. Now I won't talk about them in detail here as I do have another video where I applied a coating outside and discuss them in more detail. But the main things are making sure that it's a still day so you're not getting loads of dust and debris being blown onto the paintwork and ensuring that it's applied in the correct temperature and humidity ranges that the coating specifically recommends. One very noticeable benefit though is that you can actually drive the car an hour after application and you don't really have to worry about rain. The car shouldn't be washed though for two to three weeks after the application process to ensure that the coating's hardened fully before exposing it to any chemicals. In terms of the performance, the water behaviour on this coating is pretty incredible and it does really help to keep the car cleaner between washes. It doesn't leave the slickest surface but it does really make up for it in terms of how water repellent it is. I will be doing my best to provide some updates on this on my Instagram page so I'll pop a link to that in the description. On the glass I went for Soft 99 Ultra Glaco, which is the most durable coating in Soft 99's range and from my experience lasts upwards of six months on most regularly driven cars. This is my go-to glass coating for cars that either do a lot of mileage or ones that aren't maintained quite as often. If you do want the best durability and long-term performance though, I do recommend also investing in the Glaco Cleaner and applying that every few weeks as when using that combination you can definitely get close to that 12 month mark with the coating. On the black plastic trim on this car I went for Squid Ink Plastic Guard. The application process of this was really straightforward. It is a very loose liquid, so you don't need much of it at all to be able to get really good coverage. It leaves a nice even finish when worked in with a microfiber pad. It is also recommended to give it a quick wipe with a microfiber towel to remove any high spots around five minutes after application, but I did find it really easy to get an even finish and I just used that microfiber towel as a precaution. This definitely offers a lot more durability than regular tire and trim dressings which only last a few weeks whereas with this one I found you can get months of protection out of it. It's not as durable as something like G-Technic C4 but it's miles cheaper and more economical. On the tyres I opted for the Deterna Creamy Tyre Dressing which I really like because it's very easy to apply and get a nice even finish on every tyre that I've used it on and it's also not too glossy or distracting which is my personal preference. 